Hello, hello. This is Armando with Hoosier Security, and today I'm going to take a few seconds, a couple minutes, and show you um, some of the cooler features within DW Spectrum. Uh, DW Spectrum is one of our VMS platforms that we use. It is uh, kind of our midline uh, because it provides an incredible bang for the buck, uh, has permanent licensing, so you only pay for the licensing once, uh, no matter how many times you change that camera. Um, and it is also incredibly easy to use. It's also very flexible. So um, right now we are on our demo system. We're logged in. What you're seeing is the main screen. And I will show you uh, that you can uh, take cameras from there and drop them in. Here's a, a shot of our warehouse that's live. Uh, this is a Hanwha camera. We can also do put another Hanwha camera on here on our front door. Uh, so you can see it works with uh, a variety of different cameras. There's a Hanwha. Here is a uh, single view from an Avigilon multi-head. Here is another Avigilon uh, older H4A camera. Um, we've got a, a PTZ on here. That's a 4K PTZ. And then we've got uh, various other cameras on here as well. How about, uh, see, this is an older one. So uh, that is a, uh, actually that's an AVA camera, uh, which is really interesting. We managed to take cloud-based cameras on this system as well. Uh, and then we've got some older cameras in here as well. Uh, this hallway camera, I believe, is a, an older camera. And... Well, let's see, we've got fish eyes on here, so you can do uh, full screen on that. You can do corridor mode, like you see here. And then what this system allows you to do that is probably the coolest thing about it is manipulate how these uh, different video streams uh, show up in different places, right? So uh, if you've got somebody who should only be able to see certain cameras, uh, we can then adjust that video, that screen, to give them exactly what we want them to see, when we want them to see it, and under the circumstances we want them to see it. So if they only want to view, we only want them to view live video, we can do that. If we only want them to be able to view recorded video, we can do that, various different things. All right, so uh, what we're going to do right now is set something up that's actually going to be useful. So let's get rid of all of these interior cameras, and let's drop uh, some outdoor cameras on here. Let's see, uh, hallway outdoor center west. You're gonna see some older cameras on here. Uh, we've got, uh, there we go. Let's do multiple cameras. We'll do uh, that and drop those in there. All right, so these are the outdoor cameras that we have uh, on our demo system. Um, and we're gonna arrange these uh, however it is that we want to arrange them, right? So we can zoom out. Let's take this guy right here and let's make that um a bigger screen so grab this and slide it over take this guy and make it bigger uh, let's take this guy right here we're really interested in that camera as well so let's make him the same size and then we'll take the rest of these and drop them over here for some reason they're in this situation they're not that important right we're just looking at these but look at this it's kind of a weird setup so we'll go there make this a mid-size take this one right there, take this guy, and right there. So we've got a totally custom view. Uh, I don't, that's an older weird camera, so that's going to be interesting. Let's do this. There we go. Um, so we've got a totally custom view that uh, you would not be able to do with most other systems, and we want to assign this to a certain user. So we're going to go and save current layout as, we're going to label this as exterior guard view, let's say, All right? Uh, exterior guard view weekends. And we will save that. Boom, that is saved. And here under layouts, you'll see exterior guard view weekends. Uh, and we can do layout settings. Uh, we can lock that in place. Okay, now when we go into various different users, we can go in and say, I want Dasha not to have access to all resources, but I want to uh, adjust her user settings to uh, who's your employee, we'll assign that, we'll say, okay. And then uh, I can take, not user, or do user roles, I'm sorry. So user roles, and then we can say, uh, Hoosier employee uh, now has only permission to do these certain things. And under layouts, we want them to be able to view just that and apply. Hit OK. Now, whenever that user logs in, all they'll be able to see 
is this layout. So again, incredibly easy to save that. Uh, we can go ahead and exit this. And when we can, if we ever log out and log back in, we can come back in here and say exterior guard view weekends. And there is our view. Okay. You can go through and look at recorded video uh, down here. Let's say we want to go to 12 p.m. Uh, and that will pull up that video for 12 p.m. I've got some cameras that don't have video at 12 p.m., but that's okay. You get the idea. Um, so that is the custom layouts within uh, DW Spectrum. I hope that this was helpful. I hope this has um, helped uh, learn a little bit more about the software and see how the flexibility can actually be beneficial for your business. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out. 317-644-0570 uh, is our number. Again, I'm Armando with Hoosier Security. You can also reach us on our website, which is HoosierSecurity.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.